Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm going to talk to you about how when we look at magazines uh, and still photograph sequences and slow motion sequences and impact positions in particular uh, on YouTube or in magazines or books, they don't actually tell the full story and a lot of people totally misinterpret what they have to say. So if this is your first time to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about helping you play better golf and lowering your golf score. And if you're interested in lowering your score, I would consider subscribing to my channel. I upload a new video every Monday morning Melbourne time at nine o'clock. And uh, every week there's a video aimed at helping you to lower your, lower your score or improve your golf in some way. As I said, today we're gonna to take a look at how still photographs can lie. So when I was younger, I used to have, buy all the magazines and I couldn't wait to see the swing sequences and the slow motion swing sequences and still photograph swing sequences of all the best players. And we've all seen them. We see the still photograph of a golf pro at impact in something like that. And it's really good to see. But the problem with a still photograph is it gives us no indication whatsoever of how fast things are actually traveling. It's just a moment in time. So today is about putting some numbers to things and indicating speeds. And some of these things that you're about to learn might surprise you. They might not be exact and they will vary from uh, tour player to tour player, but you'll get the gist of what I'm saying. So the first thing is, if we look at that uh, impact photograph on the screen there, how fast is the club head traveling at impact? So it can vary, but let's just say that the average on the US tour is about 115 miles per hour. So we've got the club head traveling at 115 miles an hour at that moment of impact. So that's pretty acknowledged, most people know that. How fast are the hands traveling? You would think that if the club was traveling at 115 miles an hour, the hands would be traveling a bit slower. And a lot of people think that the hands are traveling around 80 miles an hour or something in that vein. The reality is that at the moment of impact, the club's 115, this is for a driver, and the hands are traveling at about 25 miles an hour. Unbelievable, isn't it? 25 miles an hour, that's pretty slow. And if you think about a, a wheel on a bicycle, you've got the hub traveling slowly and you've got the tire traveling quite fast. This is a very similar principle. So uh, that amazed me when I learned that. So then if the club's traveling at 115 and the hands are traveling at around 25 miles an hour, how fast do the hips travel? Because there's a lot of information how you've really got to fire your hips and turn your hips through the ball. How fast do you think the hips are traveling? If you said 10 miles an hour, that's pretty close. It's about 10 miles per hour. So when you think about it, the hips only go from here down to here at impact. So they don't have very far to travel. So by the time we start up here and the hips start turning, they're only going at 10, the hands are traveling at 25, and the, and the club is around about 115. It doesn't take long for everything to line up at impact to create that still photo. So then we get to the shoulders. How fast are the shoulders traveling? Well, it's roughly 15 miles per hour. So five miles an hour faster than what the hips are traveling. So. When we see that photograph again of impact, that puts everything into perspective. The club head is traveling at around 115 miles per hour. The hands are traveling at 25 miles an hour. The hips are traveling at 10 miles an hour and the shoulders are traveling at 15 miles an hour. It's for that reason that we see the impact photo there. And if we looked at the next photo in the sequence just beyond impact, the club head has traveled past the hands. 
That's because the club head is traveling around about five times faster than the hands. So we don't hold that grip position through the shot. And that awful word that I just detest, lag, people misinterpret what lag is. You would think that, and I've heard people say, you've got to keep the hands in front of the club. That's not true. We want to get that club head in front of the hands in that follow through. So there you have it. Some real numbers to a still photograph at impact. Did that surprise you? I'd love to know what you think. Hopefully that will help you to discover your numbers and put things into perspective and it might just help you improve your golf. I'd love to know what you think. So feel free to make a comment uh, down below. I'd love to be able to have a chat to you online. Thank you for letting me help with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.